Okay, so this is Orico two big DAS solution, which is just the data access storage or however you want. It's for individual personal data archiving. This one is a type C. You can uh, populate it up to 44 terabytes inside here, which you would be 22 terabyte drive on each uh, bay. And this model is 9728C3, exactly this one here. It has a very silent fan from the bottom, so it pushes air out. You can fit two and a half and three and a half inch hard drive or SDD or solid drive, whatever you want to call it. Five gigabits per second transmission, type C interface, which I just said here. Let's open it up and I'm going to switch from my current one, which I have a Lacy too big to Orico too big. Well, they're both going too big, but I'm very happy with this one because I actually have a lot of other uh, storage things from Orico. Some of them were sent by them and some others were actually bought by me because I like their products and I'm not gonna lie. I just, I don't mind using their products forever if I can. And here's the beauty that we're talking about. So this is really nice, by the way. It's all like metal and plastic mix. And it has this air kind of vented on the bottom. That's where the fan is. That blows the, it sucks the air in and goes out. The uh, lights are one here and number two. And this is the on and indicator light. And besides that, there is the USB-C on the back right there and the 12 volt power input. And you have an actual physical button to turn on and off. And besides that, there's nothing else. The rest is here on the top. You click to open. It's one of those things like boom. And now you just open this lid and you have the two slots inside just like that. And that's what you are going to populate to insert the two drives in the bay inside here. And that's, it cannot get any easier than that. So let me pull here what we have. Okay, the dual USB, a few screws. Thank you, because I actually had some of mine stripped already. The power brick, the power brick cable. Oh, a nice, almost full screwdriver. Not the very tiny ones. Great. I love Oracle. They, they really go out of their way to make sure you have everything. And more screws right here. And the user's manual, multi-disc dash solution that you can go through and read and learn and all that uh, good stuff that you would need, which most of it, we're not gonna need that much because I have these two drives just configured in RAID and that's what I actually use right now. Yeah, it looks nasty. It's been so long that I had this guy here. It still works, it still works, but it's heavy and aluminum and all that. It has uh, those ports. That's why I mostly use this one, but now it's time to replace it with this Orico. And uh, I'm gonna just take out, yeah, this one has a fan too. This one I added, so this one was not part of the deal, but I don't actually need any of the ports anymore. It's been a long time that I no longer use them because I have enough ports on my PC. So let me pull the drives out really quick. I have a 10 terabyte here, it's supposed to be white, but it's yellow from time. And I have a two terabyte somewhere here, a Seagate Barracuda. Yep, two terabyte. And we're gonna install them right there. That's all. Let me put this on the side. And A, I'm gonna put the 10 terabyte really quick, just so we know what we're doing. And I'm so happy to get rid of these T screws. I don't like them. I don't want them. And I'm happy that the uh, Orico included regular Phillips screws that simply work. And that is it. Boom. And I'll never see the T screws again. <laughs> Because I don't want them. I don't want it. Okay, here is uh, my 10 terabyte that's going on the slot A. And oh yeah, these align really good with the screw holes, with the threads. And I'm going to use the screws they provided actually. And why not? I think I need these ones here. Because this is fine threads. And that's it. It's actually that easy. Look at that. Boom. I really love how Orico, how they design their stuff. I never had an Orico product that was not actually designed in a thoughtful way. Well, most of my storage products are Orico anyways. <laughs> it's, uh, it is, except for this, I somehow didn't get to buy 
their uh, expansion bay solutions. But I'm happy that they reminded me that, oh, we have this stuff, so let's do it. And now I have it. And time to transfer the two terabyte as well and get rid, rid of these T-Torx screws that I'm not a fan at all. And replace them with actual human screws that are just simple Phillips. Oh, again and again. Really thank you, Orico, because this is cool. Boom. So we are ready to go as i said on side a i'm gonna put the 10 terabytes this is boom that's it and side b is gonna be the uh two terabytes i have the bigger drives i have a few more six terabyte and so on but i have them on a mini server already and i'm not gonna bother with restructuring because you get the point so just close it and they're ready to go now all i'm gonna do i'm gonna, com I'm gonna connect it to my computer and you will see the rest of this video on my computer screen simply transferring some files testing a few things and uh, one thing to keep in mind when you do these external drives know that it doesn't matter how fast this uh enclosure is it matters how fast your drives are because uh, these two drives are just average normal drives they're not nothing uh extreme 72 7300 rpm and all that stuff so i'm not expecting miracles but hey i think it's gonna be much faster than this one because on this one in any of these two drives i could never get it to go for some reason over uh 20 to 25 megabytes and that was a little bit not 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 good enough and now i'm hoping this gets it to at least 30 to 50 but of course as i said depends on the drives and uh for now i'm gonna keep those drives that's all i have the the style at least mostly seagate and uh samsung so it is what it is oh that's uh, quite a lot of cable actually it's around probably three four feet for sure that's amazing because it has a usb-c to usb-c which connects to my computer directly on a usb-c 3.1 that i have so i'm just gonna go and connected and uh that's it you'll see me on my uh computer in just a second okay so everything uh, is connected and i'm just gonna click the button here and see what happens where is that button right there boom look at that we have those three lights uh going on and it should be ready to go now boom just like that that was easy i i can't even hear it there's actually no noise i just see the lights if you notice to indicate uh activity but that's it and uh we're gonna see when they populate in our screen okay so as you see right there on the corner of your screen somewhere here is the orico tower itself for the direct access storage and i just left it there for reference just to see the lights when we start touching on the drives this is the 10 terabyte and this is the 2 terabyte that we just inserted and just to show you right here yep we have the 2 terabyte and the 10 terabyte should be this one right here boom and now we're gonna just transfer a few files really quick to both of them just to test what uh, happens here and I just made a new folder right here and I have some uh, unfinished folder here the whole folder itself is two and a half gigabytes so I'm gonna try to transfer this to the 10 terabyte first and just see the speeds and what happens and uh, we'll see probably the lights yep as you see the light on the middle right there is blinking that is a good thing not a bad thing i can probably increase this a little bit just so you can actually see that light blinking and boom that was really fast i gotta say that was fast let me delete it again and delete it from here again okay and drop the same two and a half gigabyte folder again wow i actually have not seen uh, the upwards of 200 megabit per megabyte per second transfers on this drive with the other uh storage i had so wow this is amazing I gotta say but what happens if i try to transfer this from there and let me uh, delete this one okay and i'm gonna put this to my desktop now what's that oh whoa 
Okay, that was fast. Delete it again. Just make sure it's not there. Okay. And I'm gonna transfer it just again. Just just to make sure we're still working on the same files. Yep, 2.52 gigabytes. And drop it here. Boom. Literally nothing. Wow. Okay, that that is something. And let me create a new folder on the other two terabyte drive really quick as well. And now we are inside the two terabytes. We were on the 10 terabyte till now, and now we're on the two terabyte. And I'm just going to drag the same folder we have here. Now the two terabyte uh, hard drive here is a little bit older, I gotta say. So I don't expect the 200 to happen on this one, but I will try it. Let me drop it. Yeah, it's just a little bit slower. I knew that because uh, that's an older drive. But look at that, it's still 160. I literally, Never had this one with the other, uh, wow, it went up to 186 at some point. With the other uh, storage uh, access that I had before, the Lacey, I literally never had uh, any of these drives actually even hit 30. They never even hit 30, let alone 200 and 180 and all that. Now this is mind boggling. Wow. Let me delete this one again. I mean, I'm just testing now, just having fun at this point, but let me drive from a two terabyte onto my desktop. Let me see. Whoa, uh, I didn't even see it transferring. I did not cut this part of the video, by the way. It is just how you're seeing it. Let me try it again. Okay, and let me delete the cache just to make sure or the temporary files because sometimes that could be a thing. Okay, all it's left is just files that we have for our camera and stuff that's connected. And let me grab it and drop it again. Boom, 2.3 gigabyte per second. <laughs> Literally, this is the two terabyte that we inserted on that Orico. This is nothing else. Boom, just, just so you see it, this is the drive. This almost doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we did that, but uh, let's go with a software tester really quick. I have just this crystal disc thingy right here, and we have to do, yep, these two. That's our drives. Let's start with a 10 terabyte, and we're going to do just two passes of one gig each, megabyte per second, and we're going to check the read and write really quick to see what it says. Look at that. So far, 164. This is via this software thingy right here this is good this is in sequential read right now wow and it's maintaining it and we're talking about a 10 terabyte drive so that's that's a lot so let's see the right now it's doing a random read right now really quick and uh, let's see yeah that's actually quite high for random read this random read is kind of the outer sections of the drive which i don't really care about and 2.5 and 1.2 that is good in this drive this has never been the case Look at that, the right right now, boom, 160. So it's maintaining the same level as read on right. Wow, I'm actually loving this one. I'm going to tell you right now, whether they sent it to me or not, I am really happy. Look at that, keeping it straight with a line on a 10 terabyte drive that has never seen these speeds. Now we're going to check the random right for those parts that I really don't care, but if there's anything over 1.2, oh, 2.6. I was saying if it's over 1.2, I'm happy, and it's literally double. Wow, this is a lot. This, oh, oh, it's gonna make my life so much easier to transfer stuff. 2.7 on random right. This is, <laughs> this is mind boggling. This almost doesn't make sense. These are the same drives I had for years. Wow. Okay, so let me go and uh, the last one, the two terabyte now. I'm gonna leave everything the same. Uh, this two gigs, two passes, one gig each, and we're gonna try the two terabyte drive now. This makes no sense to me how fast it's working. With these drives that I thought, I, I've been blaming the drives this entire time, but it was not the drives. It was actually the reader itself not going over 25 megabytes i am not joking i wish i was just joking 197 wow on read <laughs> and this is sequential read look at the light they're moving uh 
hope you see it to indicate which uh, drive we're working on 197 and 195 so let's see the right sequential right it should do two passes 192 look at that so it's actually doing a great job with both drives keeping the speeds close to each other so now if i had a faulty unit with the uh lacy that i had before that i showed you on the video earlier that is a possibility but that unit was brand new even though yeah a few years old now but wow look at that come on this is this is something else this is one 193 on this two terabyte drive this is this is not normal and i could care less about the randoms and with this one oh yeah this is gonna change things around so again i don't know what else to say except for results speak for themselves on this uh orico too big external uh drive access i i'm i'm extremely happy so this thing right here is a beast i'm gonna tell you right now this is a beast <laughs> i'm really happy that they sent it because it looks like the problem i had was not the drives and literally i was prepared to buy new drives because i thought it was my drives and i never bothered to check lacy if it had a problem but now now i know it was actually the machine itself and not the drive so again thank you to orico for just being awesome with everything that you make and uh i really appreciate them sending this my way i will leave links down in the description where you can find it the link will be an affiliate between me and amazon not between me and orico as much as i would love it to be so you can go take a look at one of them yourself they have another version identical to this one, but it's a uh, five drive bay. So you can put five hard disks inside in the other one. But this one I have here is the two bay. And I'm extremely pleased with it. The installation was literally just plug and play. I didn't need to install drivers or nothing. Just boom, boom. And of course, if you buy brand new hard drives and you want to plug them in, you might need to format the brand new hard drives is of course you need to know what kind of storage you're gonna have on them but my hard drives were already formatted because i had them in use for years and this thing here just grab them and i am ready to work so with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and uh i hope to see you next time whenever the next time is and uh thank you and thank you to orico as well for sending it over and we'll see you next time bye